Hi, and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project, we're going to be repair, repairing a fluorescent light that sometimes turns on, sometimes doesn't. You got to play with the switch to make it turn on. So today we're going to correct that problem. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. But first, let me show you exactly what it's doing or what it's not doing. And then we'll continue on and we'll get this job done. Okay, well, this is what it's actually doing. Now there it turned on, it's off, it's on, and you can see it did not turn on. Well, we flicker the switch back and forth, and we can get it to blink and turn on. So today I'm going to show you exactly what to do so we can figure out what the problem is and then go ahead and repair it. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Let's turn the light off. Now you're probably wondering how I can be so well lit inside here without any lights on. So I'm going to show you what I actually do. This is a, this is a basement, as you can guess. But as you can see, here we have this unit here. It's actually a, a unit that produces a 110 volts. We plug our light fixture into it, and then we can turn the lights on as needed. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so there's our lights. You can see there's three of them working, so we can actually illuminate this area right over here so we can work. I just want to demonstrate to you how this head wolf works. This actually works really well. This I keep charged up for a couple of different reasons. One, when I'm working around the house and I need to have the power turned off, I can actually have a regular light fixture such as this. Then I can light up the work area where I'm working. Now I'm going to show you in a second how that exactly works, but uh, this is how I work with the power turned off at the unit that I'm working on. You can see here that we're changing the ballasts up here, so uh, you know we do need to have the power turned off, of course. All right, so it's kind of dark without any kind of lighting down here. So what we do is we bring down this head wolf here. We come up underneath the bottom here. We turn the power on. And it shows you it's 99% charged. And right now we have no load being taken out of it whatsoever. So we're going to come over here. We're going to turn on the outlet right there. And now you can see the AC is now on. We take our plug and we just plug it in just like that. Now I'll push it a little further. Just like that. And now you can see. Our lights are on and it works just for like from a normal electrical outlet. All right, I want to point this out to you as well. You can also use the USB charging ports right here to charge up any of your devices at all that need to be um, charged up. As you can see, we do have two electrical outlets here and here. And here is where our input is to charge the, uh, the unit itself. And you can see here it tells you how many watts its output is right now. And it shows you how long it'll actually run. Okay. Like here it'll tell you now. It looks like it's seven hours. It'll run for. All right. But we're at 99%. All right. Let's get our job done. But this does come in very handy, especially when you have a power outage and you need to have a fan running or charge up something or whatever. In my particular case, it comes in very handy for a sump pump, just in case the power goes out. All right, let's get this job done and let's wrap it up. All right, so let's get in there, let's get started, and we'll get this done. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up underneath here and the small little tabs right here and right here to get this piece to pull down. So let's pull them and open it. And let's open it up. Now, frequently a light bulb can be burnt out as well. Um, if a bulb burns out, usually it'll be one of the four. It's very unlikely that four are gonna go out at the same time. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we did take lights from a fixture that was working. So we know that these bulbs here are in good condition. There's not a problem with them. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cover down 
right up underneath here so we can take this off to gain access to the wiring and the ballast underneath there. Now, as I said, the power is turned off. Very important that you do that. All right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to bring you up here, I'll show you, and we're going to take this piece off. Basically, what you're doing is you're taking this and you're squeezing it together so that you can actually take this piece down. All right, so let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so now we're down underneath looking at the light fixture itself. And as you can see, right here, the small little tab right there, and there's one corresponding on the other side right there, and then here, and here, and then down on this end over here as well. What we're going to do, as I said, we're going to take this, we're going to squeeze it together, and we're going to pull it out. But it's going to take two hands for me to do that, so let me do that, and we'll access the ballast and the electrical wiring underneath. We're going to squeeze it and pull it down slightly. Squeeze it and pull it down slightly. Same thing on this one. And now that takes this piece here off. Now this is going to be difficult to take out, so we're going to take out this light bulb right here, just so we don't break it. Take this. And we're just going to move it out of the way for now. We're not going to take it down. We're just going to put it back over here, just like that for now. And these are your ballast up here. And I can see already this one is leaking some kind of oily residue right here. Uh, but we're going to check to make sure we have our power and ground connect it up when we turn the switch off and on. Now, as you know, the black is your power, your white is your neutral, and then this one here is the, this is actually a switch that is controlling uh, two different sets of lights. You could turn on two, or you could turn on all four. I'm not sure why they have it like that, but that's the way it was wired in. That's what the red wire is all about. All right, so uh, let's get in here with our test light and make sure we, or our non-contact voltage tester and make sure we have power in there. Okay, so now that we have our power turned on at the light fixture itself, we have one of the switches turned on, the other one is off. So let's see what we have here. Let's turn our non-contact voltage tester on. We have no power in that one. And this one, as you can see, it's got full power in this one. And this one is off. But that's off because the, there's a Two bulbs are controlled by one switch and the other two bulbs are controlled by the other. So let's turn the second one on and make sure that that's okay as well. Okay, the second one is now on. Let's test for power and make sure. Power and power. So both of the lines, the red and the black, are both power and the white, as I said, is neutral and we have nothing in that one. All right, so let's turn our power off, and then I'll explain to you how you can tell what ballast you need. Okay, ballasts are very important. I'm going to bring you in there, and I'm going to show you what I mean. But if you look on the side, right over here, and I'll bring you in a little closer in a minute, you'll see that there's two red wires, and there is two blue wires. That's very important that we have two, two and two on each side. And on this side over here, we have actually two wires. One is white, one is black, and then we have two yellow wires as well. So you want to make sure you get the ballast that belongs for this particular one. This one, as you can tell, we have four uh, bulbs in here that, uh, that the ballast controls. So we got, we're going to make sure that we get the correct ballast to replace it. Remember, price is not always the, the determining factor when it comes to replacing a ballast. All right, so make sure you get one with four wires or, or one that is just like yours. Sometimes they have two, sometimes they have four. So make sure you get an exact replacement for the wiring. All right, so well, let's take these caps off and let's get started. Okay, so this is an example of what kind of tools you're going to need to get this job done. You're going to need a pair of cutting pliers. You're going to need a set of uh, stripping pliers to strip the insulation. Some screwdrivers, both flat and uh, flathead and Phillips. We're going to need a utility knife to cut possibly a wiring. Some electrical tape, some wire nuts, and replacement ballasts. All right, so let's get up there and let's take the other ones down and we'll put these in. Okay, so now we're getting ready to remove the ballast itself from the, uh, 
from the light fixture. We're going to need a flathead screwdriver to remove these two screws, and then we're going to cut all these wires off. Now remember the wires are all going to be reconnected the same exact way they came off. Um, black to black, white to white, uh, red to red, and so on down. All right, we're going to verify again that we have no power. Everything is off, so we know we're safe to cut these wires. All right. We'll take our cutting pliers. Now we're here we have the white and the black, so we're just going to disconnect these right here. We'll take the wire cap off like that. We'll take this wire cap off right here as well, just like that. Now we'll disconnect the wiring as here. This is for the one ballast right here. And this for the other ballast right here. Remember, black to black. Okay, so this one is now disconnected. Okay. We'll get these wires down like that. Now the other wires that are on here, the uh, yellow wires, we're, gonna, we're actually going to cut these wires and we're going to splice them back together with the wire nuts that we have. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to just unwrap some of this wire up here. These two here. We're just going to remove these. They go to the other ballast down over here, so we're going to put those over there for now, just like that. Now remember the one black one was connected to the red one here, because this is actually controlled two bulbs by one switch and two bulbs by another switch, all right? So that's where we have to reconnect it. So for now, these are all done. We're going to take these wires right here, and we're going to disconnect these from the ballast. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to cut right through them right here, just like that, and just like that. All right, so now this part of the ballast is disconnected. We have the blue. We're going to cut through these two blue ones right here, just like that. We're going to cut through the two red ones, just like that. And now this one we're not going to cut. This one we're going to unscrew because that is the ground on the unit itself. All right, so let's grab our screwdriver and let's unscrew the ballast, just like that. And the same thing on the other side right here, just like that. We're going to take out one screw. We're going to hold it, of course. We're going to take the screw out because we're going to need to use these again later. So don't lose them. Okay. And now we'll pull the ballast out. Remember what I told you about it leaking? See right here? See that black stuff right there? This ballast is absolutely no good because it's leaking. All right, let's put this down and we'll continue. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our new ballast and we're going to bring it up underneath here. We're just going to pull these wires all down just like this for now. We're going to cut these shorter as needed. We're going to slide this ballast underneath like that. And we're going to catch this second screw that holds the ballast in place up to the old fixture. And then we'll screw that in. This one, make sure you have no wires pinched underneath there, but our ground is still connected up. Nice. Nice and tight. Okay, so now we can start reconnecting our wiring. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our two reds, our white, and we're going to strip them down so that it's just the uh, wire itself showing that the, the uh, insulation will take off. Okay, so now we have the blue stripped down, the red stripped down, and of course the other colors that we have 
the black, the white, and the red. All right, so let's connect these up and we'll continue uh, installing that ballast. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to come up here and we, as you can see, we have a tremendous amount of extra wire here. You don't need all this wire, so we're going to cut it shorter and then we're going to come in and we're going to splice it into these right here. All right, so we know that the red and the blue are shorter and we know that the yellow has to go all the way over to this side. So we're not going to cut the yellow ones yet. We're just going to put those off to the side right now and we're going to cut these here shorter so we can splice them right up there. So all of them are going to be cut just like that and we'll get rid of it. These yellow wires have to come all the way over to the other side here so we're going to leave these a little bit longer but we are going to cut these just a little bit as well just like that. Next we're going to strip all of the wires that we're going to reconnect up here. All right, so now we're going to, we connected up our two red wires. We're going to take our two blue wires and we're going to twist them together just like that. Okay, then we're going to take our wire nut and screw our wire nut over the top of it, making sure that the wire nut covers everything that's stripped down so that there's no wire showing whatsoever. Okay, then we'll do that same thing on this one right here. We're just going to grab it and we're going to twist them together. And if you have a little bit of excess wire sticking down like that, you just grab your pliers and you cut off the excess so that the two wires are then even. We take our wire cap and screw it on. Okay, nice and tight. Okay, so all our wires are now are on this end here are connected up. We have to connect our two yellow wires on the other side, but we're just going to take this and we're going to put this together just like that so that our cover is going to cover this up. Okay? Just like that. Now we'll take these two wires here and we'll connect them down on the other end. Grab our yellow and our yellow. Now I just want to point this out that the wires don't make any difference which one is connected which because the yellow is yellow and blue is blue, such as that. So nothing to worry about with crossing them up. All right, so we're going to twist these together, just like this again. Same thing with this one, just like that. And twist them together. As I said, if it's sticking down a little bit too far, you grab your cutting pliers and you just snip it off. There. We take our wire nuts and screw our wire nuts on as tight as you can by hand. Like that. And like that. Okay, so now this ballast is wired in. So after our yellow wires are connected now, we're going to take our black wire and we're going to connect our black wire onto the black wire that was here from the existing wiring. We're just going to take it and we're going to do the exact same thing. We'll take this black wire and we're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to twist these two here together so that they're nice and tight. Okay, like that. Hold it and just twist it around just like that. And then we take our wire cap, put it over the top and screw it down until it's tight. Okay, so that is all connected up. We're just going to take this, bend this one up and out of the way, just like that. Okay, these two will come back to these shortly because we need to put our second ballast in on the other side now. So let me put this second ballast in. I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's just repetition. Let me get that in and then we'll come back and we'll make a final connection right over here. Okay, so now after we have our other ballast wired in, we have everything yellow to yellow, blue to blue, red to red. 
We are now going to take our white wires and we're going to join our two white wires back to our one white wire right up over here. So we're going to take our wires like this and we're going to take this one, hold it together just like that. And now we're going to wrap them. And then we'll take our wire nut and screw our wire nut on nice and tight. Okay, so our two white wires are now connected up to the other white wire from the house. Make sure it's tight, which it is, and we're going to take that and put it up over here for now. Next, we're going to take our other wire now, our black wire and our red wire. Remember, our red wire was connected to the black because it was controlled by a second switch. So we're going to take this, put it on here like this, wrap it around, put our wire nut on just like this. Screw it nice and tight. Make sure it's tight. Give it a pull. And that's it. All the wiring is up. We're now going to take this and put it up underneath here. And then we'll put our cover back on, install our light bulb, and we should be in good shape. Okay, we're going to work our cover back over, making sure we don't damage the lights that are still in there, of course. All right, and this. Now we're going to take the wires and we're going to put the wires up underneath this cover, which is where they're supposed to be, of course. And we'll bring it over. Make sure your wires are not pinched up underneath there. We're going to put the back clip on first and I'll show you what I'm doing in just a minute. Okay, so our back clip is now in. We're going to squeeze this together and we're going to put it up on there. Same thing here. And then the last one down here. Now we're going to look to make sure that none of our wires are touching into anything, which they're not. They're all hidden behind that cover as they're supposed to be. Next, we're going to put our light back inside here. Remember, you're going to Put it in slightly sideways, put it up in here, okay, that's it, all, all the bulbs are in place, all right, let's turn it on and make sure it works. That's two, and that's four, all right. Okay, so now after we have everything all put back together, we make sure everything works. We take our cover, put it back up. Sometimes it's a little hard to get these to snap back in, so you just have to play with it just till you catch it. Okay, we got one. And we got two. Okay. All right, that's it. That's it. It's all set. All right. The only thing I will tell you is just be very careful which ballast you get, because if you get the ballast that's the wrong one, you're going to go to wire it in, and you're going to be short wires, or you're not going to have the correct amount of wires or the color wires. So if you have a four light fixture, make sure you get a ballast. That's for a four light ballast. All right, that's it. This job is done, and we're on to the next one. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.